Hey there internet, Keith here and welcome to the Cars of Keith YouTube channel. And in this video, is there possibly a new budget king? This is the Rainkovo foam cannon. Now, there's nothing special about this foam cannon overall. There's tons of them out there like it. They all use the parts bins from the Chinese plants. The, the different bottle uh, configurations, the necks, the caps, the nozzles, the tops, all that kind of stuff. But they put together a pretty decent package right here for an amazing price. We're talking $17.77 right now on Amazon with tax under $20. The current budget king is the Suprints, which is about $22. I think there's a 5% off coupon right now on Amazon for that. I'll link it below as well. Now, Suprints is a few dollars more, but it does have a few more features than this one. But, I mean, you cannot beat this price. $17.77? I don't think you could go any cheaper and get anything better, and I haven't even phoned with it yet. I hope you don't mind this temporary setup. I have some big lights over here trying to help illuminate the area. I just, schedule-wise, it's getting darker earlier, and I just can't get the videos recorded at time. In the morning now, it's too cool, and there's too much dew on the car to really do anything, and my garage isn't finished yet. So what's good about the foam cannon? Pretty much just about everything. Like I said, we haven't tried foam yet, but for the price, you can't expect too much. But the bottle is where it's at. This is the same bottle as the Suprints. The only difference is there's a slight difference in the stamping on the markings. Uh, it only has markings for 100 milliliters up to 1,000, but it does it every 100, which is really good. But the Suprints is better. It has ounces, milliliters, and dilution ratios on the side of it. So that definitely is a quillinger for the Suprints. The other difference between the two, this only has one spray pattern. It only sprays up and down, but you can adjust the fan in and out. Actually, one downfall for this really is this top turn knob right here. They really went extra on trying to make it as razor sharp as possible to hurt your hand when you're trying to, you know, go to max. Once you hit max, you know it's going to stop and then your hand turns on it. And man, it just rips you to pieces. It's the worst one I've seen so far. It does have the good quick disconnect, big O-ring, very easy to tighten by hand and it not leak. The neck to me is the perfect size. Not too big of an opening, not too small, just the right amount. Many caps fit this, the Suprints, the Griots, the MJJC, they all fit this top. It's very versatile. This is so light. It is less than a pound, which makes it the second lightest amongst all of the more functional foam cannons. Maybe the walls of the manifold are thinner. I'm not sure on that. It's still brass, so it's still pretty good quality materials. The plastics are pretty decent as well. It's got pretty decent capacity as well. The 1,000 milliliter mark is like right here. So you can easily fit almost 1,200 milliliters in here. So before we get into the performance and the foaming, go ahead and check out the links below. I have Amazon links for this, the Suprints. I have sponsor links below. So go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Let's get right into the video. All right, this is the 1.1 millimeter on the Greenworks pressure washers, which is a 1.2 gallon normal big box door type pressure washer that most people have. We have 100 milliliters of G-Technic W4. This is a 10 to 1 dilution ratio. We use this exact same soap and ratio in every single foam can review. Well, I had high hopes and I was disappointed. I'm gonna drop the Suprince top on this just to make sure. Same bottle, I put the Suprince top on there now. That's a world of difference. And if you ask me, well worth the $3.50 extra that this is. Man, I thought I had the foam cannon. I thought I was going to have this awesome foam cannon for 17 bucks. And man, it just... Foam's about as bad, if not worse, than an armor all. You can see the difference. That's just bad. Okay, close-up time. You can see the Suprince has been sitting on here for quite some time. And it's almost, after all that dual tide, still as thick as this. All right, same dilution, not much of it left. Uh, we're using a 1.25 orifice on my active E52. You can't use a 1.1 on it because it just draws too much power. That's slightly thicker. I think it's actually a little bit better than the 1.1 was doing, but I would expect the 2.0 gallons per minute uh, pressure washer to do better foam. Here you go up close. Yeah, 
I mean, it's all right foam. It's definitely better than on Armor All and it's on par with some of the other ones that we've tested for sure. Now I'm so disappointed like I was say with that Armor All video and I didn't try more. So I actually took the orifice that was in the Supran's top, put it in here, hoping maybe this one had like a 1.15 or 1.2 because my 1.25 uh, little carburetor file welding file did not fit so I knew it was less than that Here we go Now it is slightly better than it performed earlier on the Greenworks with this different orifice, but still It's very very runny and you saw how well the Supran's did with the same one I think it has a lot to do with the filtering system that's used in this. But why would you buy something for $17 and then have to pay five to 10 bucks for some uh, MJJC filters or something to make it better? But for $17, the bottle is a decent deal. If you need an extra bottle or you want a clear bottle, this is a way to invest as least as possible to get one. So you can tell by my demeanor now at the end of the video the foaming that I saw brought my excitement level way down that's why I gave it a Keefe score of 67.1 I think right at 10th or 11th place out of 16 or 17 foam cannons what really gets it up that high is the cost uh, some of the good features that it has the weight all of that uh, but if you're looking for the better budget deal I think the Superance is the better deal so let's go over the categories real quick 5.0 in foam, that's the lowest I've given. I, that's the same thing I gave the armor all. It's just, it's just bad, it's bad. Uh, bottle, 8.1. We got a 6.9 in function. We got a 9.3 in cost, second highest in cost. That's why I got really just a good score. Uh, quality, 6.6. .6. And innovation, a 6.8. That's a total average of about a 7.1 out of 10. Uh, and then uh, 67.1. You can see that it has 7.1 out of 10, but it got 67 because foam is weighted so much. Actually, just below the MTM PF22.2, and that foam cannon foam's amazing, but it's $90. It has a small neck. There's features, some features this has that it doesn't, and like I said, it's the price. That's what puts it up there. So in just a second, I'll show screenshots of the nerdy numbers so you can see the individual categories and all of the ratings that I gave. We'll do that to some music, and then obviously we'll have our bloopers afterwards. So don't forget to check out the links in the description below. My Access Garage, Active, uh, Amazon, sponsored discounts, anything like that. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Low, you can still go even when you feel slow you can still go even when there's no hope you can still go i never answered a no man i still go 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 hustle out hustle every single day i'll be making moves till i'm buried in my grave to the system i don't want to be a slave in this video I w oh my gosh. Hey there, Internet Keith here, and welcome to the cool. That thing has a. That phone cannon has two. Th that phone cannon has. These massive hornets. I don't know. I'm going to get you. I'm going to punt you. I'm going to punt you. Tell him. Leave me the f alone. The end of the video will show you all I hate being under a flight pattern just about every time they get to this point it's when they start making that large amounts of noise as they're descending into Atlanta so go ahead and hit that mic button so go ahead and hit that like oh my gosh <laughs> here let me turn the camera look at my cat over here he's staring at me he escaped and there he is anything that you need if you could oh my gosh hit my obsessed garage my active Oh my gosh. So don't forget to check out the links. So don't forget to check out the links below. In so don't that. Oh my gosh. Uh, the. Um, which make it. Which make it. Oh my gosh.